In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated emoji or smiley face slide design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here are different types of emojis or smileys will come, which is the animated one. And I've just created some shadow effect at the bottom. You can see here, this is very good uh, slide to show in your PowerPoint presentation just for the fun purpose, or you can use this particular uh, emojis on the other slides as well and if you like to join my telegram group you can join with the help of this link and please support my channel by watching the advertisement shown on this video for 30 seconds or you can just click the advertiser link uh, if you like to contribute directly you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section to make this uh, tutorial i have used office 2019 version uh, and if you're using like older version like 2007 or 2010 some uh, features might not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to a gradient fill in this case i have just chosen the gold color you can see here so let me just show you what color combination i have taken so right mouse click go to format background and i have selected the type as a radial here and the direction i have selected from center and this three color combination i have chosen you can see here this uh, gold color all gold color but with different shades okay if you want to know what color codes i have used you can just go to more colors and you can just see these numbers or the rgb colors also here now let's make the uh, emojis for that i'm going to insert shapes and from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. Maybe this much size, I'm going to choose it. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fit. I'm going to choose the gradient fill. So let me just click on the gradient fill. So here by default, whatever I have used in the background, it is showing here. So I'm just going to change a little bit here. So I can just choose uh, something like this and then the light color. I'm going to make it more kind of a yellowish or you can see here something like this or more different color combination you can choose so this is more lighter so I can just choose any color here and then if you want to change the direction whichever direction you want you can just change it and then what you can do is you can just go to the effects and go to the shadow you can see here and from the presets i'm going to select which is uh, inner circle center you can see here and the color again i'm going to choose some dark color here all right and then you can increase the distance okay and then increase the blur size also so it gives you kind of a 3d look and then to make it more glossy effect what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes I'm going to select a uh, oval shape again, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size here, shape outline, make it no outline shape fill, I'm going to make it white, then go to the effects and under soft adjust increase the size, you can see here, so depending on your requirement how much you need, you can just give something like this, alright. And then if you want to add some shadow effect, again, I'm going to use the same thing or I can just simply select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to fill it with black. All right. Now, this is very dark. So in this case, I'm just going to increase the transparency level here. You can see here and then I can just further increase it, reduce it and then I'm just going to place it here. So this is the, the shadow effect I have created. Now, let's create the mouth and the eyes so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape all right i'm just going to put it here and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to add one more press ctrl d to duplicate and give some other color and then give some transparency so exactly you know what we are trying to do so let me just reduce the size maybe a little bit here you can see and then what i'm going to do here i'm just going to increase the size of this you can see here so this area whatever say area which you're seeing here the blue one i want to just keep it okay so depending on your requirement how much wider or how much 
smaller you want you can just adjust it so let me just select the blue color first the blue oval shape hold the shift key select this transparent one merge shape you can see here i have just made it uh, subtract and then depending on my requirement i can just increase or decrease the size you can see here i can just put it like this and shape fill i can just put some dark brown color here all right so something like this and then again if i want to make some a tongue or some teeth also i can just do, do that also press ctrl d to duplicate and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape let me just make it transparent so exactly you know what i'm trying to do there and then i'm just going to place it here in the center so this area whatever is intersecting only that i want to keep it so again i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this one merge shape i can just say intersect here can you see here and then shape fill i'm going to give some a maroon or red color here and then i'll just put it here you can see and again to make the teeth i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and the upper area only i want to keep it so again go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape make it transparent again shape outline make it no outline let me just zoom in you can see here i can just make it more something like this okay again the area which is intersecting i'm going to keep that only so i'm going to select this hold the shift key merge shape and i'm just going to select intersect here and then i'm going to give a white color to it and then let me just bring it here you can see here let me just zoom in and then just sorry let me just bring it down and put it here so you can see here the mouth has been created and again if you want to give some kind of effect so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape shape outline no outline sorry no outline and shape fill i'm going to choose this red color again and i can make it somewhat transparent and then go to the effects and increase the you can see here the soft edges all right i'm just going to put it here at one end press ctrl d at the other end also and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select these three things the mouth the tongue and the teeth you can just group it and press ctrl g to group it and bring to front all right now if you want to make some eyes again either you can take this mouse i'm just going to copy ctrl c ctrl v you can see here and go to the format rotate i can just make it flip vertical and i can just reduce it you can see here and then i'm just going to put it here let me just move it a little bit and then i'm just going to make it one here press ctrl d add one more here again make sure that it is aligned properly so you can see here with this i have just completed one the emoji now if you like to add more what you can do is i'm just going to select this okay press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just bringing it here for example i don't want uh, the the teeth here so i'm just deleting that one and i want the mouth to be a bigger size you can see here i can just increase it like this and then i can just put it down or again if i want i can just delete and create it again based on this one so let me just do that one ungroup this first of all let me just delete this and then i'm just selecting this press ctrl d go to insert shapes again oval shape draw the oval shape maybe only this much size i need again i'm going to select this and then i can just intersect again give the same color which is the red color and just bring it here you can see here so this is perfectly aligning all right and then again again if you want to change the eyes also more narrow or more wide eyes again based on this let me just create something you can see here i'm just going to select this and then this is the area which i want to keep it 
so again select both of this you can see here i'm just going to subtract it and i'm going to give more darker color no outline let me just delete this i don't need this all right so now i can just select this bring it here press ctrl d bring it here you can see here so properly aligned and then i'm just going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it now if you want to decrease the size hold the shift key reduce the size so you can see here but now one thing you see here the the glossy effect or the shiny effect is missing it is there actually so what you need to do is you have to just select this one go to the effects and from the presets the soft adjust i'm just going to reduce it so you can see here it has come back so i can just add one here send this to back all right so like this if you want press ctrl d again hold the shift key make it more smaller again this also i'm going to make it the presets for the software just increasing the size you can see here and then again depending on the requirement if you want to change something else also or just a, a small a mouth only a narrow mouth that also can be done so i can just put it here again send this to back and then i want to support this one i want a few other uh, a normal circles only so again right mouse click ungroup this and then i'm just going to delete this mouth you can see here let me just delete this sorry i don't want to delete that i want to delete this and again i can increase the size you can see here and let me just group it Control d to duplicate hold the shift key reduce the size just to support this one you can just add as many as you want okay press ctrl d maybe you want a smaller one i can just make it smaller and again this one i said this one we have to just reduce the this one okay so something like this you can just make some uh, emoji effects okay so i've just created only few depending on the requirement you can increase more also just press ctrl d just place it here and there reduce the size you can see here so many things you can do with this now let's add some animation i'm going to add multiple animations so i'm just going to give you one example so before that uh, make sure that it is properly uh, grouped i have not grouped it so let me just group this press ctrl g to group it yeah it is grouped now now what i'm going to do is as i said i'm going to add multiple animations so go to the animations first of all i'm going to add animation which is uh, the basic zoom okay just click on that one basic zoom so how it works is when i click it comes something like this and then i'm going to add one more animation again select the object which you want to animate add animation go to emphasis and i'm going to make it grow or shrink you can see here you can increase or decrease the size so double click this and the time or the size you can make it either 150 150 is very big so i can just make it maybe 125 percent press the enter key and click on the auto reverse timings you can make it maybe fast and repeat until end of the slide and click sorry until end of the slide and click ok and this should happen with previous right if i just play it comes something like this you can see here and then i would like to add a few more also and then again go to the add animation i can just make it a teeter effect so you can see here it is doing something like this again this also should happen with previous double click this one timings make it fast again until end of the slide and click ok so if i play it comes something like this you can see here all right so it's easy for me now i can just simply select this one animation painter click on this you can see here again i can select this to this so a lot of things you can do it and this should happen maybe with previous so all should happen at a time or if you want you can give a little bit delay also all right so if i play now it comes something like this you can see here and then you can do the similar animation effect for these all as well